hello guys welcome back to my channel um what we are doing today is spinach stew uh normally garnish we call it contemporary but i use spinach and i put a twist to it um so i just want to show you what uh, i'm going to use for this um, stew i have some kale here i add a bit of kale this is steamed and i have um, some cow skin and some tomatoes Okay, I have some tomatoes and I have some onions um, that I've, cut, I've chopped them into pieces. There's, there's three onions that I've chopped them into pieces. This is melon seeds uh, and I'm going to add it normally in Ghana, call it a bushy. And then I have some, um, some um, garlic and ginger. I have some tomato puree and some fish, tin fish for it as well. And also I do have some uh, mushrooms and turkey so very special um, special spinach stew and of course loads of spinach okay so starting what I'm going to do I don't normally use um, um, uh, palm oil for this um, and people will say that, oh you normally use palm oil for um, this stew but I'm not using palm oil I'm using um, coconut oil and this coconut oil I normally buy it in Costco I buy it because I use it a lot also this is the coconut oil I'm going to use okay so first of all I add a bit of the oil about let's say three or four teaspoonfuls or tablespoons sorry of uh, the oil because I'm doing lots of uh, the steam normally I put some in the freezer afterwards so that's it and I'll switch on on high heat okay it's better to use coconut oil because it's, it's, it's good with high um, temperatures when you use olive oil it's not really good with high temperatures so coconut oil is really healthy as well okay so the next thing I need to do literally is to add the I'm adding the onions. What I need doing with the onions is that when I put it in, I'll, I'll make sure that it browns well. And what I do is that I take it out and I blend it with the tomatoes. And it gives a very nice taste. So I'll let it cook um, and brown. And then I'll add it um, onto the um, uh, with the tomatoes and blend it. Right guys, you can see that the onions is really brown, this is how I like it, so I'm taking it out. I'll take all of them out and I'm going to blend it with the tomatoes. And it smells really good. Right, so I'm going to blend this with the tomatoes uh, before I put the tomatoes and the oil so i'll just um yeah right guys so i've take i took um the onions out and i blended it with my tomatoes i'm just pouring it in okay i'll put a little bit of water and add it to it um, i need to add my garlic and ginger put everything into it and then I'm going to add my tomato puree as well it's just about two tablespoons okay Alright, um, I need to pour out some water into it and then I'll allow it to cook for about um, 30 minutes. That's my stock and water as well. So I'll allow it to cook for about 30 minutes. Right guys, um, this has been on for about 35-40 minutes. Um, I needed it to reduce. Okay, so it's reduced and the tomatoes is cooked. So what I'm going to do is to put my meat in it I'm putting the turkey in it 
that and I'll put the mushrooms as well. I like the buttered mushroom because it's quite round and it's good. Uh, what I need to do is also add my cow skin. And then also I need to just drain the tomatoes out of the fish. I don't want it to be watery. So I need to drain all the tomatoes out of the fish. And I, I will let it be on for about 10 minutes. Oh, it's really nice. Okay, guys, um, it's been on for about 10 minutes. I'm putting the fish in. I like putting the fish in at the very end, but I don't want it to break most of them. So, what I'm going to do. Going to do what I'm going to do now is to put the melon seeds there. I put some water in it. Okay, it's a bit thick, and I'm going to pour it into the just in blocks. So what you need to do when you put them the melon seed is to lower the pour. Just lower it a bit, and again cover it. Okay. What I'm going to do is cover it and then just cover it for about 10 minutes. Right, guys, this has been on for about 10 minutes. I'm going to check and try and stir it up. We still have a bit to go, so I'll let it be on for about five minutes before I put in the spinach. Right guys, um, this has been on for about 10 minutes, so what I'm going to do is to add a little bit of salt, because I've not added salt to the stew. Just a little bit, because um, some of the meat uh, makes it a little bit salty, so just a little salt will do. Uh, so I add my kale. Add my kale first, and then I'll start adding my spinach. It's a lot of spinach to add because I always make a lot of stew and I put some in. So I'll add the spinach uh, bit by bit and I cover it for about um, 10 minutes and then my stew will be done. So I add all the spinach and then I cover it for about 10 minutes. Right guys, as you can see, our spinach stew is ready. Uh, it's been on for about five minutes. I don't want it to overcook. So that is ready. So I'm just turning off the stove. So that's our spinach stew. It's really delicious. So please do try it. Well guys, uh, this is my spinach stew with my yellow rice. I will keep the recipe later with my yellow rice. Um, it's really, really, really easy to do. Actually, I do it in my um, rice cooker, so I'll show you what to do. So that is my spinach stew. It's really, really nice with anything. You can eat it with potatoes, with yam, or with rice. I like eating it with rice, so that, that's it. Uh, Please like this video and please put on your post notifications and subscribe to my channel so that when I put on a new video you'll be able to be notified of that. So thanks for watching.